Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel, All of My Plants. Today we are going to run through the greenhouse and see what's happening in there. Because stuff is happening. Um, some of it's not been so great. It's, um, I don't like slowly acclimate my plants when I take them out to the greenhouse. I just toss them out there. Um, I do have a shade cloth on it so they're not going quite in full sun. It is much significantly brighter than anything indoors. But, nevertheless. So let's go check it out and then meet back here after. Okay, so we are out in the greenhouse. I have added some stuff. I've probably taken some stuff out. I've moved stuff around um, since the last time y'all saw it. If you've seen it before. If you haven't, hi, welcome to my greenhouse. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to check in. I'm going to show you the things that I think are doing well and some of the things that uh, maybe are not doing so well. But yeah, greenhouse checkup. Okay, I guess we'll start over here. This is where most of the Hoyas are. Start with this thing that's dangling. This is one of the Hoyas I got. Um, I think the lady was selling like, I don't know, a lot. It was like six of them or something. And I think this is one she threw in. It's a, this is a Hoya Sunrise. Yes. Um, you can see the new growth has a little bit of sun stressing on it. That red. Yep, pretty. But yeah, this particular vine here was a cutting I stuck in and it just didn't take. I didn't root it or anything. I think I broke it off of the other one, um, which the other one flowers quite a bit. This one here has not yet. It's got another vine there that's not doing so good. Um, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Maybe someday I'll get around to potting the two together. I don't know. Actually, when I bought the first one, I did buy two together. I repotted both of them at the same time and one just died like there was no stopping this thing it was on the fast track to death um <laughs> so that wasn't ideal but okay <laughs> um i just put this guy out here um that's monstera peru nope not peru who are you silta pecana silta pecana that sounds right it's pretty. I like the kind of silvery markings on that really dark green leaf. I just think that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. But yeah, it's doing okay. It's not trying to grab the pole yet, I don't think. Either way, it keeps falling over. Um, but yeah, so it's doing fine. So far, so good. Um, this is my second try with this plant. Now, it's it's from cuttings from my first plant, but my first plant tanked. I don't know if Anybody's been around long enough to remember my first plant, but yeah, um, these are its babies because the first plant's just gone. It's gone. That's the other um, Hoya Sunrise there. It's looking pretty good. And it did flower not too long ago. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it in. Oh, sorry, there we go. Peduncle. I'm staring at it instead of through the viewfinder. I'm just staring at the plant. But yeah, it had a few flowers on it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm trying to lose my voice. It's allergies. But yeah, and this guy here, that's uh, Philodendron Gigantium. They're not lying. They are not lying. Um, I put it on a pole. I don't know why. I don't think it needed my help. But <laughs> it was on a stick and it was doing just fine. Um, this one grew over the winter, so that's a bit smaller. That's a small leaf. <laughs> yep. That there, that very yellow leaf, that's from an import uh, from Equigenera, Equigenera, however you say that, Equigenera. Yeah, that, Equigenera. <laughs> um, philodendron, uh, I think this was Patricia. And I know that leaf looks terrible, but it's been doing a lot of work for this plant for a very long time. Plus, I just took it from Bonsai Mix. Sorry, I keep sticking my hand in the way. I just took it out of Bonsai Mix because that's where it was rehabbing and rerooting. And um, put it in an, or an aeroid mix, like a soil mix. Um, chunky bark. Just hardly any soil. But anyway. Um, and that looks terrible. It's going to go, but it was there doing the work for these little guys to get growing. So got two little offshoots and eventually we are going to propagate this and we'll have two separate plants 
but for now um, it's just going to sit there. They're going to grow on their stick because that leaf is on its way out and it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> my my squamiferum. Look at how small that leaf is. It's so cute. This grew inside over the winter. This is the first one that's put out. Um, it was already putting it out when I brought it out here, but I'm I'm thinking we're going to get back to this size leaf probably pretty soon. It was very happy outside. I think this might be one of the last ones from outside. Is that right? Maybe that one? I don't know. But pretty, pretty. Atabapalense, that plant is always doing good. It's like, it's only two inches tall, but it's like three feet wide. It's doing so much. Of course, the backs. The back of the newer leaf. So pretty. So pretty. And we're, we're trying to get another one. Yay. Good times. Um, all those guys there are actually pretty happy. Even the not albo albo um, monstera. We can see one white leaf right there. Or it's a half moon. Which, you know, not ideal. It had a full white one on this petiole here that's like sticking up weirdly. That finally died off. Um, it, it stayed there for like three or four months, like over winter. But as soon as I brought it out here, a lot of things that have variegation on them, some of them did crisp. Um, I guess just the, the change in climate, you know, which that's fine. It happens. Um, there's more of it here, I'm sure. This is actually starting to crisp a little bit, even inside. You can see a lot of the white is just gone from some of these leaves. But this is the um, Monstera Standaliana Albo. And it's so pretty. Like, look at that leaf. It looks thirsty. See how they're curling under? But it's cold today, so I'm not sure if it's um, curling from stress from thirst or just curling a bit because it's cold. Let's see. It is not thirsty. It is cold. Okay. So now we know. But I really do love that plant. And it puts up with all of my nonsense, which... I got a lot with me, let me tell you. <laughs> it's another Philodendron Gigantium. Actually, that's the base of that plant that you just saw with the huge leaves. This guy is still droopy. I think I showed it not that long ago, and I was like, oh yeah, they'll perk back up. It did not. It did not. Not these two, anyway. I think they were just droopy too long, and it damaged the tissue in there so that it cannot become rigid again. Um, but that's alright. I'll probably just cut them there, you know, where the bend is, and poke them down in the pot, and we'll see if it'll, uh, it'll root. It'll grow. It will or it won't. I mean, it's fine. But it's still growing. It has new, this is a new frond, same plant. They just come in green, and then they harden off to a really dark color. And I think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, it's my philodendron burly marks back there. And it's probably, I, I know it looks rough. It looks rough. It has all small leaves on it. I think it dropped most of the older leaves. They kind of did this thing and then dropped. And it was from severe underwatering over the winter. So a lot of this is newer growth or winter growth. Um, it's going to be fine. I'm not mad at it. Sorry we're so backlit. It's like full shade in here right now. But, yeah. <clears throat> Temperature in here. Sorry, I'm trying not to knock stuff over. There we go. 64-ish, 65-ish uh, Fahrenheit. Not bad. Things are okay. I think it got down to about 47 in here last night. Oh, look at a new leaf on the campii. Or Lynette, whichever you may know it as. That's pretty. I like this plant. It didn't do anything all winter, I think. I think it got spider mites and maybe even dropped a few leaves. You can see some sort of damage there. Looks like bleaching. I might have had it on a shelf too close to the light. I'm not sure. I don't see any cooties though. But, yeah. New leaf, finally. Yay! <laughs> but everything out here is doing pretty good. Ooh, look at the spiders, the actual spider webs. Yeah. On the, uh, who are you? And this has only been out here a couple weeks. What's going on? Who is that? Hoya. Macrophylla albo marginata. I think it might be latifolia albo marginata now. Or outer variegated. I'm sorry. We're not supposed to use albo marginata, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's one. And then the other one is up there. 
in a hanging basket. Looking pretty good. Um, Pseudo Ripsalis, it's angry. This one had scale. You can still see where I've dug it off and it's just left it um, not being beautiful in those areas. But it's okay. She has a history, she has a past. We love her anyway. It's cool. This plant here has only been out here three days, and this is new. This is new. Hmm. Maybe it was starting, because it looks like I've cut it before. I don't know, but yeah, it continued. Hmm. It's got some, some new growth on it, though, so I guess that's good. These are new offshoots where we lost some, some leaves down this stem. So this is one. This is one. And this is one right there. Look how pretty they are. In lower light, they really do grow much nicer. You get that white. This is Syngonium Frosted Heart. Um, that's so pretty. And then in higher light, this is what I was getting. is a much darker green. Much less frosting on my heart. <laughs> Such a pretty plant, though. Humble opinion. I do love it. I do, I do. Hopefully soon we can get it on a, an extension. It's a good plant. It's a neighbor here. That's um, Monstera adansonii narrow form. I think this one was Fred Frederick's Thali. Am I saying that right? Um, it looks ragged, right? <laughs> it is. You see some old leaves here that are all just mangled. Uh, it had thrips and also, this plant has been neglected for a couple years now. Like, look how pretty that is, though. Right? That's gorgeous with its little midrib fenestrations. Ooh, so cute. But, um, it had thrips. It used to live in, I don't even know if it was this greenhouse yet. Had this plant for a long time. Like, seven or eight years, probably. Um, I noticed it had thrips while it was in either this greenhouse or the old one. And I, so I threw it outside. It was like November, and I was like, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. Uh, you, you know, evicted. No thrips. <clears throat> I just got so tired of fighting them on that particular plant. And it survived the winter outside. In Maryland. I have no idea how. I'm not saying it looked great, but in the spring, I noticed new growth on it. I was like, oh, okay, I guess you can come back now. And I just never fixed it. It's on this, you know, sloppy-ass pole. <laughs> which is doing nothing for it, nothing, but it, it has a will to live. So basically what I'm saying is I need to fix that. Maybe, where's the other one? Somewhere I have a stick in here that used to be mine, 69686. There's some of the petioles and leaves from it, or what's left of them. I did clean most of them up, but there's more. Um, anyway, maybe I'll switch that onto that pole. Where's the 6986, 69686? Too many numbers. There we go. That's it. Um, I brought it out here and it just dropped all the leaves within like two or three days. But the this new growth looks fine. Um, I've checked out the roots. I had just repotted it. Like, I don't know. It just threw a fit. So if we can get this growing, we'll probably try to propagate it. But we don't have those nice, juicy, adventitious roots or aerial roots. So could be tricksy. We'll see. But either way, I'm not nurturing this stick on a pole forever, so it's got to make a move one way or the other soon. <laughs> then this is uh, my very unhappy Glorious. Look at that. Isn't that horrifying? Spider mites all the time. This is the newest leaf. It's usually very sticky across the back. Now I scrubbed it off. I guess it's better. But yeah, really sticky. Mmm. And that's been an ongoing issue. I don't know. I don't know. I'm losing patience with this plant. This has water spots and everything else going on. Yeah, so that's Philodendron Glorious. Uh, not being so glorious right now. I mean, it's cool. We forgive her. We'll get there. And then this guy here is the Monstera. Aria. Am I even fitting it in the frame? I'm trying to back up without like falling over. Yeah, Monster Aria. Um, 
I mention it because it's doing okay, but the crispiness is happening. Once again, I think it's just a change in conditions, temperature, humidity, all the things, light. Um, so it's gone a little crispy on the variegated places, on the yellow places. That is the new leaf, and you'll notice that that one has not, because um, it's really, it's unfurled out here. So it's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. It's still smaller than what we were getting last year, but um, I think I think we'll get back to, to that there pretty soon, and it'll be great. This is an all-green leaf. This plant, there's two in this pot. One, um, every leaf is variegated. And then the other one, it puts out one green, one variegated, one green, one variegated, depending on what side of the uh, petiole it grows from, or the, the stem down in there. So, but nevertheless, I still think she's lovely. <clears throat> and then on this side of the monster, oh, this is... Uh, Alocasia Okinawa Silver. Does that sound right? I think that's what it is. This is this the newest leaf? No, it's this one. Yes, which is all wonky, and I love it. I love the like. If you have a Cebu Blue, I would compare this darker of the mint colors to like the Cebu Blue, the color of it. It's a very pretty plant. Spider mites don't seem to bother it. I mean, it does get spider mites. I think it's got them right there, right now. But, um, they don't really seem to, uh, I mean, it doesn't take much of a hit, like some of my other alocasia, that just, like, one day you notice one or two, you go wipe them off, and the next day you come back and the plant's dead. This isn't one of those. <laughs> but anyway, I'm mentioning it because it's, uh, finally did, uh, get some little pups going. There's, I think, three or four. This was the first one I noticed. No variegation on that, but maybe with the second leaf. And then that little guy in there is variegated. And then the other one, back, let's pick it up. There we go. That one is variegated, so yay for that. Oh, and it looks like there might be another little one coming up next to it. But yeah. I don't plan to take them out anytime soon. I'll probably let them get significantly bigger, um, but then I will separate them eventually. Or well, that's what I say, you know. Y'all know how I am if you've been watching a minute. <laughs> I say I'm going to do it, and then I forget for three years. Well, not quite that long. Um, there's the mother plant of my Hoya carii. Um, and it's fine. Like I said, I always say that's my least favorite Hoya. And it's just, I don't enjoy the way it grows. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, but the growth is not my favorite. And I think it's because it's so stiff. Like, how do you train one of these to a trellis? Do you just have to let it sprawl all over the place like that? And I've had them, once they start sprawling and trailing, they just grow these long, like, runners, vines, that are leafless. I don't love that look. And I think that's what turns me off about that plant. I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. Nothing's wrong with it. <laughs> this guy here, this is Hoya Irina. I think I've mentioned this plant like a million times because I love it. It's, it's the veininess. So pretty. But look at this leaf. It looks so yellow, but it's grown outside, and it's still growing. I guess it is getting kind of greener from the, like, from the petiole end up. It's very weird. Maybe it's just the higher light out here. There's another new leaf growing right there. That one's not yellow. <laughs> I don't know. It's a pretty plant. Hoya Arena. I can't remember the numbers, but if I can find them somewhere... Um, like the Ascension, Accession, those numbers, I'll write them on screen, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. And then, this guy's still doing good. I was kind of worried about it, but it's sat inside. It's, um, Anthurium, was it Radican's Luxurian's Cross, something like that. Um, but it's done fine. It's done, it did really well, even with my very low humidity house, which everybody, you guys told me it would. I trusted you. <laughs> That's a new leaf, smaller, but um, it's had some changes in its life. Oh, you can see some yellowing down there. I'm not sure what that is, but as long as it doesn't progress, I ain't gonna worry about it. Um, an inflow. It's waxy. It's like rough and waxy. Why I have to touch it, I don't know. <laughs> but it does that pretty regularly, too. Nobody told me that, either. 
Um, that's an older one, an older inflorescence, which maybe you can see. I'm not sure. I know the lighting's not great down here. Um, this guy is cute. I cut a lot of this off of my Syngonium Albo that's on a pole. It's still inside. I haven't brought it out here yet. I should because it loves it out here. But, um, oh, I cannot catch it. There we go. Um, some of it was reverted, some of it just needed a trim, and some of it was all white, and we know how that goes, but I, I planted it anyway, and this is coming from the same one, all white. But, I mean, it's doing good. It's doing fine. So we're just going to let it grow for now, but I'll probably use it to fill in the mother plant eventually. Um, that down there, reverted Monstera albo. There's the mother leaf. This up here, reverted Monstera albo, mother leaf. The rest of them are all green. Any Anything that looks white on there is just water spots. Eh, it is what it is, right? Some Hoyas, most of them are doing good. That's Fitchii, I think it's called, which I love. I love it, it's a good grower. Um, that one there is mostly dead. SP, PNG, SV, focus, 4, 439. Um, it had two leaves on it. It wasn't doing good in LECA. I'm sorry, I'm focusing on everything but what I'm trying to do. Um, it wasn't doing good in LECA. The last leaf just fell off. I don't know where it went, but um, you can see these sticks here. <laughs> They're wick. This one here is dead done. But the other two that are sticking up there, I see nothing making a move yet. But I'm hard-headed and I'm not giving up until I'm sure that that thing is dead. And then I'll compost it. But until then... <laughs> that one there is doing alright. Um, Sarawak Borneo, I think, is what this is. Um, and I was worried about it too, because I had it, it was in LECA. And it just wasn't looking great. But it's looking like it's trying to make a move down in there. Trying. Maybe when it's more consistently warm in here it'll get there. That's one pot of it. Let's look at the other pot. This is the other pot of it. Oh, I'm here on the floor. Um, the leaves still feel very thin to me. It's so weird. But this one is growing. That is new. And then there's some in there trying to make a move. Um, so, can you see them? But, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I didn't expect them to grow overnight, especially not in the winter, but we'll see how it goes. Um, these are fairly new to me, so I got them the same time I got, uh, that SPPNG SV439. Um, but, yeah, I mean... Isn't that funny how the leaves all lined up like that? <laughs> and then I want to stalk that Adabapoensi over there. Or not Adabapoensi, Subhestatum. Because it has a new leaf. How do we get to that? There we go, I pulled it out of there. Subhestatum. This one is one that last year, I was like, oh, it doesn't grow, it doesn't do anything. It was not terracotta, I took it out of terracotta, and it's grown since, and it's doing great. And I love it. Red on the back. I like how the red is interrupted by those green veins. It's really cool. This is a new leaf. This is a new one. I don't know what happened to that one. See the pollen all over everything? Ugh. And that is why I am dying of allergies. That's a nice leaf. I really need to put this on a pole. I really do. Um, not that it's even that tall yet, it's like up to my knee, but, like, I can just tell. It would love it. It'd be so happy. Right now it's just strapped onto a piece of bamboo. But yeah, I had to talk about it because I'm thrilled that it finally started growing and that it's been growing so well since it did start. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. I don't think this plant gets enough love. <laughs> I don't know, and it's funny, on the, this here, I couldn't see it the other day, and it's just starting to get more and more red, the, the back of it, but it's so pretty, so pretty, nothing like a fresh new leaf when they're still 
very bendy and soft. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stick it back up there. I just glossed right over this guy, which I just recently repotted. There was a video about it. It was a hot mess. But it's cool. I'll share my hot mess with you. It's it's real life. I am who I am. Isn't that pretty? Um, Epipendum pinnatum variegated. I guess maybe elbow. I don't know. It's not that elbow. I'll just call it variegated. It's so pretty. I love the the little bitty pinholes. <laughs> the tiny, tiny fenestrations. I love them. But yeah. So anyway, um, it was a hot mess. The video were... Oh, the video where I was putting this on a pole, right there, it's finally reaching out and grabbing the pole. I say finally, but it's really not been that long. It really hasn't. It's maybe been repotted, I don't know, a month or two, I think. I don't know. Never trust my concept of time. I thought I was still 39 for three years. Um, <laughs> four years. See? See what I mean? But yeah, I just think it's lovely. It seems to be doing pretty good. I think it's going to grab this pole and take off um, soon. Like I said, it's starting to, the new growth is starting to, so that's uh, all I can ask for. And the leaves are starting to stand up. I think I showed it right after repotting it, and they were all still drooped and flopped over the edge of the pot. We still have a couple that really don't want to stand up down there at the bottom. You can see one there. But for the most part, um, they're perking back up some. Part of my trash basket. But... Yeah, so I'm happy with it. I love it. I would like it to do more of a grow. And then back here on this pole is the Philodendron Bloody Mary, which I love this plant. Like I said, for a long time I didn't appreciate this plant, but I love it now. Like, look how dark that foliage is. I'm wearing a black sweatshirt with cat hair, but I'm wearing a black sweatshirt. Look how dark that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. These are the small winter leaves. This is probably the last of my winter leaves here that's unfurling now, but I'm expecting it to get back to, to looking like this very soon because this leaf is three times the size of that leaf. <laughs> well, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, at least. There we go. But, um, it's lovely. It is so lovely. Water spots and all. Beautiful plant. Beautiful. Look how dark that is. Mm. Okay, I could fawn over that all day. But anyway, it's doing good. It's had its pole extension, and I'm going to have to propagate it probably this summer, I'm guessing, because it grew like gangbusters out here last summer. So I, I think it'll do the same this summer. <clears throat> this guy here I haven't really talked about too much. This is the Philodendron Tortum. And I just got this, I don't know, February maybe? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, and it's, it, I know, it's not much to see. It did have another leaf. But when I got it, um, the girl's like, hey, I've got a dog. Um, do you mind if I just put it on the porch? And I was like, no, that's fine. Um, I'll, uh, I'll just stick the money under the doormat or whatever. So we did that, and look at the growth point. It's finally moving. But anyway, it, ha it had a little bit of cold damage that quick, so the other leaf died off, and this one here just doesn't look great. Hopefully it's sustaining the plant. I don't know. But, um, these here, she just, she's like, yeah, there was an axalis in there, and I just left it. And, um, she was like, bonus. I was like, cool, bonus. I love it. Um, it's cute. It is cute. And at least something in this pot is growing. <laughs> I, I probably will eventually take it out, like, you know, separate it. Um, but for now, it's definitely not competing with that philodendron, so it, it's that's where it lives. It's home. That's its home. And this here, which is up in the light, oh, this is coming back. It did go dormant because I drowned it. Um, what is that? Alocasia silver dragon, I think, which is a lovely plant. But yeah, I drowned the bulbs. So that's one there. And then the original pot that I drowned is back there, right there. But um, point being, I'm here to talk about this one. This Hoya, uh, o Obavada. See how wrinkly that is? And it's been that way for days and days and days. It's just not perking back up. 
I don't know if it's a combination of the cool temperatures or what, but oh, I guess it is growing right there. Um, but yeah, the pot is is heavy, so I mean it's it's still hydrated. It's just not taking it up into the leaves like I'm used to seeing. You can see that some major wrinkling there. But um, I don't know. And then these leaves over here on this side kind of look okay. Can we get away from the... Dracaena. Okay. But anyway. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It's just something to keep an eye on. And that guy there on that pole and then coming up this way, that's the Hoya Imperialis. Which this side, it was the original plant. But I cut it, propagated it. This did not put any new offshoots anywhere, but then this piece came from further down, and that one's grown. Like, that one's happy to do a grow. It doesn't need me to tell it anything. And then the baby is over here getting quite a bit of sun, but it doesn't seem mad about it. It's grown. It's still in a uh, stratum with perlite, so it needs to come out of there. It's been needing to come out of there, honestly, because I propagated that maybe last fall. can't remember, but a lot of this stuff was propagated last fall or last summer. Some of it's done better than others, but, you know, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's all alive. Well, except for maybe that. <laughs> it's kind of alive. <laughs> and then this guy here is the, um, I just got this. Epipremnum panatum aria, um, or Cebu blue variegated, um, which, like I said, it still doesn't look, nothing about this would make me think Cebu blue, other than the, the pinnate shape of the, the leaves. Um, and I did repot this, some of it's looking a little angry about it, that and it's cold, like I said, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It's pretty, though. But anyway, I bought another one of these, which I did haul. I hauled this one as well. Um, and I'm getting ready to show you the other one. Um, because it reverted, like, right away. This is the one that I uh, bought before. Now, see, this one here is supposed to be the same thing, but it doesn't look very Cebu blue to me. It looks uh, very similar to, the, like, the Baltic blue when it's juvenile. Um... But yeah, it says Epipremnum aria, but it was like yellow flame, or it had some fancy name. But um, that's what it's supposed to look like there, the variegation on this plant. Um, which I think this was the first leaf it put out with me. <laughs> and every one since, there's no variegation. None. Not in the stem either, I don't think. No. So, I don't know. I'm just letting it grow at this point. I really should cut it back and see if I can't get it to um, reshoot with some variegation. But, I mean, I don't know. I have the other one now. Maybe I'll slap them all up all together and we'll see what happens. Maybe. Mm. Or maybe not. <laughs> That's the philodendron white princess that I got recently. There was like six in this pot. There we go. $25. Um... There was six in there, and I think they all ended up being fairly decently variegated, except one. But I kept that one, too. But um, I just sorted them out, because I want to give this one plenty of room to grow. This is the only variegated one I have outside. The rest are inside in the cabinet, because I was rough on some roots. And we might have to do a little bit of rerooting. Um, but this one here, I was like, okay, you're nice. So we'll put you outside, and we'll give you the best chance to grow as much as you can over the summer. How cute. Um... And I'll show you one of the all green ones. Here it is. Or the only all green one. When I say it's all green, it's not. It has very low speckling type variegation here and there. Um, but it was still a pretty plant. And I was like, well, okay. You can live. And not only that, but you never know. Sometimes variegated plants, even with low variegation, will like spit out a like beautiful leaf occasionally. I mean, don't count on that. Don't buy one that has low variegation in hopes of that, um, because not always, not always the case. But nevertheless, I still thought it was a, you know, an attractive little plant. So let it grow, let it grow. Okay, I will not sing to you.
Okay, yeah, I think that's where we're at. I also have some of my cactus out there. You can see, like, it's Myrtillo cactus or something like that. Blue, blue, blue torch cactus. I don't know. I have some of them out here and some succulents, odds and ends here and there, too. And then you might think, oh, in a tropical greenhouse? Like, because that is not a greenhouse cactus. But it's, it's fine. I had it out here last year. It does pretty good. Um, I just try not to go ham on the watering. But anyway, that's pretty much what's going on in here. I was trying to fit so many updates because so much stuff is actually doing really well. And some other things, um, I'm talking to you, 69686, are not doing so well. <laughs> but overall, um, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good out here. Um, I'm going to have to have heat on in here tonight again, which is a bummer. I think it got 48 or something like that in here last night, 47, maybe even 46 before I woke up. I don't know. Um, but it's supposed to get even colder than that tonight, so I'll be putting heat in here. Um, fun, fun. And, uh, yeah, wish me luck until the next go-around of greenhouse updates. We'll see who sorts themselves out and who I have to sort out. Okay, so that's what's going on in the greenhouse. Um, some is better than others. I've got some stuff I've got to deal with. And, you know, um, it is what it is. Hopefully I can save the, I think it's a couple plants out there that um, are on death's door. The 69686 is one that comes to mind. <laughs> um, I'll probably propagate it probably pretty soon. I don't know, that leaf still hasn't done anything. Not that I expect it to, it's basically been overnight since I recorded that part of this video. So, um, you know, I'm just going to keep an eye on it, but soon, soon things are going to happen. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me, and come back and check me out again soon. Bye.